When Billy Joel said, Vienna waits for you, I think this might have been what he meant. <laughs> There's so many beautiful and wonderful places to see in Vienna. First, if you're there in the winter, you have to hit up the Weihnachtsmark, the Christmas markets, because there's just beautiful crafts and foods to try there. And I highly recommend getting a Bosna if you're visiting Austria or Germany. And Bosna has a sausage with a curry powder on it, and it is so delicious, especially with these onions. My sister got one before we went to the Albertina Museum which is just a stunning museum. Wow, they have an amazing collection here. We were really lucky to be visiting not only in Christmas when they kind of dress up the museum a little more and make it just so beautiful and seasonal, but also when they had the Basquiat art on display. This was really truly a wonderful time to visit and they always have just such great art here. There's something wonderful about visiting art museums, but then it's even more wonderful when you're in another country because you get to see what this country finds beautiful, what they find important to put on display, and you can glean information about that country's history. I found the Albertina just absolutely stunning. The different rooms you can walk through, and I love all the Christmas decorations in Austria and Germany because I don't really see that many when I'm at home and also being an AP art student in high school, it's amazing to see these art pieces in real life and up close and you can stand so close you can see the brush strokes. It's just quite a stunning experience. Monet is also one of my favorite artists, so to see a lot of pieces from my favorite impressionists really just blew me away. I highly recommend the Albertina Museum. And I also think it's cute they have this little bunny mascot and I had um, bunnies growing up, so I always love to see a cute little <laughs> bunny mascot. Whenever I go to a museum, I always feel very inspired afterwards. I think, man, I need to start keeping a daily sketchbook and drawing more and, you know, not really minding what my style is, but kind of just trying to find my style through painting and painting so much. Because you start to realize that these masters are so prolific, um, when you start to see how many paintings and sketches and and things they've created that are on museums around the world but you know they're doing hundreds of studies of just one thing like the way the light hits or or portraits and they'll do iterations thousands of times and I feel like that's the kind of dedication you need to really actually get good at something so you should leave museums with a sense of like okay I need to practice more um, because I love drawing but I I don't think I practice quite enough. <laughs> there are high standards there. And of course, <laughs> stop by another Vinox Mark. This is my favorite. I was bothering my family because every time we saw one, I just begged, like, can we go and, and see this one? I wanted to see all the different foods because each one has different stalls. They're all unique, which is, is super cool to it. And this is a Wein Strauss. If I speak. And we have an ice cream. Cream cone, aber es nicht Eis, es Cream. Wir haben keine Richter heute. I love this marshmallow thing. The grape skewer was kind of warm, so I found that weird. <laughs> Walking back to our Airbnb, there was a Christmas miracle and we saw onigiri, which are these rice balls, Japanese rice balls, and I was so happy to eat something with Asian seasoning in Austria. It's Christmas and we are on our way to a restaurant and a show. We're going to be watching an orchestra and we're going to be eating some cool food, hopefully. I'm really excited. Wow, that is just so beautiful. We are on our way. The Binox Marks are probably my favorite things to do here at Christmas time. It's been so magical. I'm really happy there's one here at Shundu, so we're gonna go check it out. Man, if you love a good trinket, you'll love a good Binox Mark because there are trinkets galore over here. Uh, I like the especially homemade quality of these. Like, they're all very natural. Like, a lot of things at the Binox Mark aren't made of plastic, which is really nice. Uh, you see a lot of wooden and more traditional toys and ornaments and glass ornaments. It's just very beautiful handmade quality to a lot of these things. The stationary boots were probably my absolute favorites because they had a whole bunch of beautiful academic 
things like tiny notebooks and hand bound leather sketchbooks so I bought these really tiny sketchbooks uh, with leather covers and these cords that go around to wrap them and close them up and I was really happy with that and the stamp that I bought just Oh, stationery is so cool, especially in other countries. So you had to do something like that, especially if I'm going to draw a lot. And we got a pretzel to go from that beautiful pretzel stand. Because we we're, of course, gearing up for dinner here, we couldn't eat too much. But as a big Christmas fan, it feels like you kind of walk into a Christmas movie or the first, you know, Harry Potter movie. <laughs> Even though you're not in England, you know, it still has that kind of magic to it. A European Christmas, <laughs> if you will. And we're at the beautiful Schönbrunn Palace, which has this amazing Christmas dinner special that also comes along with a live orchestra performance afterwards. This was quite a treat to be able to experience, so I'm very grateful for this. We had the beef consomme with a semolina dumpling. I mean, they have so many dumplings in Europe, but they're, you know, it's not the kind you think of. It's like a, yeah, it's that. <laughs> I like these. They remind me of matzo balls, it's really nice. And then, is it Christmas without a roast of some sorts? Perhaps not. <laughs> and then we had the apple strudel. Man, they just crush an apple strudel here. They make it so well. Super flaky, a nice sweet balance. And the cream is just really good. It's from the Imperial That's Bakery. Beautiful. Which kind of sounds like a Star Wars thing. Like, oh, we're eating in the Imperial <laughs> Bakery. <laughs> Anyways. Dinner was great. This concert was rocking. I love to hear an orchestra. It's like such a privilege to to get to hear performers live, especially a big group like that. And it was funny, this couple had tried to sneak in their puppy in their stroller, but it was a puppy, so it wasn't listening and it, it kept escaping and, and they got kicked out basically because they were just going wild on there. But uh, then after dinner, we had another dinner at restaurant Bombay, which was amazing and somehow opened on Christmas. So you got a tip for that and <laughs> just a wonderful day in Austria. If you're interested in more travel videos and videos about life and music and making art and just enjoying the day, my channel's here and also I'm going to do a shameless plug of my coloring book, which helps me fund my frugal travels. So yeah, if you if you like coloring and de-stressing and cottage core and I also have a Christmas cookies coloring book for my Christmas fans, check it out. Thank you for supporting my channel. And I'll see you later.